Hey everybody, at BV Matson here, making progress on the 68 CB350, getting all my parts together, getting all the nuts and washers and bolts cleaned up, one piece at a time. Had a pretty serious setback on my uh, fork sanction here, completely broke out, luckily was able to head over to eBay to find a replacement, that'll probably be here in a week or so, never saw that one before, somebody did a cheap weld didn't quite work out. I guess you could say the first parts have been added to the frame. I've got my rubber grommets installed. That's about all I've really gotten to. Got these bolts nice and cleaned up. Getting ready to start laying some parts on this thing. First step is gonna be getting that, uh, you know, all the races and the bearings and the that steering stem installed. I'm gonna do a video on this just because it's kind of a different bugger. Haven't done a video on this particular one with the dampener. Before I can do that, I got to get my races installed though. And you know what? I cannot, for the life of me, find my bottom race. Overall though, I think the only thing I'm really missing right now, knock on wood, are cables. I don't have a nice fresh set of cables, so I'll be doing some hunting around for that. But otherwise, I think I got most of the parts I need. We got nice shiny parts. These wheels are even starting to come together a little bit, but there's still a lot, a lot of parts on the shelf. I did decide to strip everything down. I'm gonna go for a full repaint. This requires some Bondo work, so I'm gonna try to smooth out these parts. These four gears were really bad. This is gonna take some time to clean up, but I do think I found a nice paint match that I'm gonna go with. I've been hunting around for the right paints, and I actually just ended up going with some off-the-shelf stuff. Dupla color, and this was a royal blue. It's pretty darn close um, to what was originally on this bad boy. Let's do a quick comparison. Tank's pretty dirty. Tank is really, really dull, but that's a nice blue that I think is going to go on there. And then I'll do kind of a more of an off-white stripe on this bad boy, but I think I'm just gonna run with this on this one, and then of course finish it off with the 2K clear. This tank is gonna require me to paint my first stripe. Got myself some fine line tape. I'm gonna give it a go. I had no idea this was even a thing, but this is fine line masking tape. It's high quality, I think way better than the blue painter's tape that I've tried in the past. It's about 13 bucks, but hopefully this is gonna help me get a nice smooth line when I eventually get over to paint. This bike is definitely gonna have some patina, some of the chrome parts you can see here. They aren't perfect, but you know what? I've kind of just, I'm gonna be okay with it. I'm just gonna go with it. I could get them re-chromed, but I don't really wanna get into it. This is gonna be, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do there. Pretty rough, pretty rough. So really, that's where I'm at. I'm just getting all of my parts and pieces together in one place, and I'm gonna start at the front end. I'm gonna get these races installed, get my steering stem installed, and then we can start dealing with the front forks. But again, it's a, the list of to-dos is just never ending on this thing. Um, so far, I've been finding everything I need, so I actually stayed remarkably organized while I disassembled this one. There's just really no way around it. One piece at a time. Eventually, all of this will end up back on that 1968 CB350 motorcycle. This is the winter project. I've got a ton of videos already on reassembling a CB350, but the 68 definitely has nuances. I'll make videos as those kind of nuances pop up. But if there are any videos that you would really like to see made, please leave a comment and I will try to get to those. Ugh, just got to dive into this thing. Just got to get busy. I also have quite a bit of aluminum polishing to do yet. Oh, and one more major thing. This darn motor needs to go back together too. <laughs> Forgot about that. I'll do my best to give you updates along the way. If I haven't made a video about it, I'll definitely try to make a video about it. And if you got any suggestions for videos you want to see, be sure to leave that in the comments. If you haven't already, go get yourself a Keep On Wrenching sticker at KeepOnWrenching.com. Hit up the Facebook group, the Keep On Wrenching Community Group on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's dive into these front forks. 
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We'll see ya in the next video or live stream. This shop is a mess.